15 times King Charles went too far during his divorce from Princess Diana. King Charles and Princess Diana's divorce in 1996 was one of the biggest royal scandals in modern history. Their bitter separation and messy divorce proceedings provided endless fodder for the tabloid press. Even decades later, this tumultuous period in the history of the British royal family still fascinates people around the world. King Charles certainly made some questionable choices as he tried to gain control of the narrative around his failing marriage. He overplayed his hand at times, resulting in PR disasters. Though Diana also contributed to the melodrama, it was King Charles who shocked the public with some of his most audacious moves. Here are 15 instances where public opinion largely felt King Charles or his camp went too far during the divorce process and its aftermath. From ill-advised TV interviews to leaked private phone calls to telling photos, their split brought out the worst in both parties at times. Number 1. Public Confession of Infidelity In a television interview with journalist Jonathan Dimbleby in 1994, King Charles admitted to being unfaithful to Princess Diana during their marriage with his former girlfriend Camilla Parker Bowles. This came after years of speculation, rumors, and denial about the relationship. King Charles' astonishingly frank confession on national television caused an immediate uproar providing confirmation directly from the future heir to the throne. At a stroke, King Charles had publicly betrayed his wife, Princess Diana, in front of millions. Many saw King Charles' confession as an appallingly callous and humiliating act towards the popular Princess Diana. Coming after Queen Elizabeth's Annus Horribilis in 1992, it further damaged the royal family's public image. Princess Diana came across as the wronged party garnering considerable sympathy over King Charles' infidelity. The revelations strained their marriage to a breaking point. Charles also drew criticism for hypocrisy, as adultery contradicted his position as the future head of the Church of England. Number 2. The Camillagate Tapes In 1993, intimate private phone conversations between King Charles and Camilla Parker Bowles from 1989 were obtained and leaked to the British media. The tapes exposed the close romantic relationship and the explicit nature of communication between the pair. Their content provided incontrovertible proof that Charles had been unfaithful to Princess Diana. The recordings were deeply embarrassing for Princess Diana, proving undeniable evidence of her husband's intimate relationship with Camilla. The leaking of the tapes in the media, dubbed Camillagate, was also seen as a gross invasion of privacy. However, most public anger was directed at King Charles for his disrespect towards Princess Diana by blatantly carrying on an affair. The episode further damaged the public standing of King Charles. Coming hot on the heels of his co-authorized biography and interview confirming the affair, the content of the Camillagate tapes painted him as a callous and deceitful husband. It also raised questions about security procedures among the royals if confidential phone calls could be intercepted. Number 3 manipulation of media coverage. In the lead-up to the announcement of their divorce in 1996, there were various allegations that King Charles and his team sought to manipulate media coverage in an attempt to portray him in a sympathetic light and Princess Diana in an unflattering manner. It was claimed they strategically leaked stories and information painting King Charles as the wronged party and Princess Diana as unstable or unfit. Unnamed sources in King Charles' camp were accused of regularly briefing favored royal correspondents off the record. There were also reports that damaging, unverified stories were deliberately planted about Princess Diana, with key media contacts depicting her as mentally or emotionally unwell. King Charles drew criticism for exploiting the tabloid frenzy around the royal split by allegedly spreading smears about Princess Diana through his media sources. These efforts attempted to influence public opinion amid an acrimonious PR battle between the warring Wales camps. It was seen as the unbecoming conduct of an heir to the throne towards the mother of his children. Number 4. Use of Friends and Aids to Discredit Diana In the 1990s leading up to King Charles and Princess Diana's divorce announcement, various friends and aides of King Charles provided background information to reporters intended to discredit Princess Diana. Though spoken off the record, these contained both general character criticisms and more specific unverified allegations. Reportedly, unnamed friends voiced generic insults, 
portraying Princess Diana as unstable, volatile, and lacking sound judgment. Meanwhile, aides allegedly share detailed briefings alluding to past issues with bulimia, self-harm, and mental health struggles. These painted an unflattering picture of Princess Diana's state of mind while raising privacy concerns. Though not officially sanctioned by King Charles, he drew criticism for purportedly orchestrating this media campaign via intermediaries against his immensely popular former wife. It was seen as an attempt to sway public opinion and counter Princess Diana's sympathetic public image as the wronged party. Number 5. The War of the Waleses As the bitter marital troubles between King Charles and Princess Diana became increasingly public in the 1990s, sections of the voracious British media applied the term War of the Waleses. This referred to the prolonged public relations battle unfolding indirectly between the royal couple as their teams of advisors competed to influence public perception. Both sides were seen as culpable in this propaganda war, providing background briefings and leaks to favored journalists. However, actions by King Charles and his camp drew more criticism. These included King Charles cooperating on the 1993 Dimbleby biography, defending his affair, the media manipulation allegations, and strategic leaks about Princess Diana. King Charles was faulted for allowing, if not directing, his team to exploit the situation. The media skirmishing fueled tensions, overshadowed King Charles' royal duties, and further damaged the monarchy's public standing. It underscored his tone deafness by prolonging the spectacle rather than aiming to resolve matters privately. Number 6. Refusal to Support Diana Publicly Throughout their marital difficulties, Princess Diana was often subject to intense media scrutiny and speculation. There was an expectation that King Charles, as her husband, should visibly support Princess Diana through public displays of unity, especially during challenging times. However, King Charles frequently failed to provide this support. When Princess Diana was plagued by invasive paparazzi and slanderous reporting, King Charles declined to speak out in her defense. His non-action was heavily criticized as it was perceived as a duty of his role as husband and future monarch. King Charles' lack of public solidarity with Princess Diana conveyed indifference to her plight. It also fueled impressions that marital troubles were worse than admitted publicly. King Charles' reluctance to offer public support reinforced Diana's lonely isolation. As an immensely popular figure, Princess Diana's plight earned significant public sympathy over King Charles' coldness. His stance damaged his reputation by making him appear withdrawn and unfeeling towards his visibly struggling wife. Number 7. The Battle Over Titles After the divorce was finalized in 1996, there was controversy over whether Princess Diana could retain her title and rank as Her Royal Highness. This status conveys prestige and aids charitable work. However, the Queen moved to strip Diana of her HRH style, which was seen as a blow to her position. The removal of the HRH title for the immensely popular former Princess of Wales was perceived as petty and vindictive by King Charles and the royal establishment. It appeared a deliberate move to undermine Princess Diana's status out of spite over the divorce. Denying Diana the HRH style that was central to her public role and philanthropic activities fueled resentment towards King Charles. He drew criticism for allegedly influencing this decision rather than showing goodwill towards the mother of his children. Number 8. Coldness Towards Diana's Plight Throughout the turbulence surrounding their marital breakdown, King Charles demonstrated a cold indifference to Princess Diana's struggles under the harsh media glare. As she battled isolation, bulimia, and depression, he appeared largely unconcerned. When Princess Diana visibly suffered from the intense public pressure and invasive scrutiny, King Charles declined to provide support. His unwillingness to shield her from distressing situations reinforced impressions of emotional distance. King Charles refused to reconsider his actions, such as cooperating on tell-all biographies that exacerbated her plight. His demeanor emphasized a callous disconnect from Princess Diana's perspective as she floundered painfully. The lack of compassion King Charles displayed towards Princess Diana's mental health battles provoked criticism for his detachment and insensitivity as a husband. It further painted him as the villain in comparison to her vulnerability. Number 9. Involvement in a Controversial Book In 1992, King Charles cooperated with journalist Jonathan Dimbleby on an authorized biography that aimed to improve his image amid growing rumors about his affair. 
However, the book proved extremely controversial. King Charles was widely criticized for publicly airing private details about his marriage to Diana and justifying his relationship with Camilla as revenge for Princess Diana's alleged infidelities. Rather than helping his reputation, it exacerbated matters. The book portrayed King Charles in an unflattering light for exploiting privacy to manipulate public opinion, his willingness to share one-sided accounts of private marital issues to clear his name backfired. It escalated tensions with Princess Diana. Critics contended King Charles exercised poor judgment in believing such public disclosures would win sympathy. Instead, it created an impression of weakness, portraying a future sovereign focused on a deteriorating marriage. Number 10. Alleged Pressure on Diana During Divorce there were reports that Princess Diana felt under duress during the 1996 divorce negotiations with representatives of King Charles. Sources suggest King Charles' team pursued terms heavily weighted against Princess Diana's interests. It was alleged Princess Diana was pressured to agree to a reduced settlement, sign restrictive confidentiality clauses, relinquish access to royals, and lose her HRH status. She was said to be intimidated into acceptance without independent advice. If true, this conduct by King Charles and his associates drew criticism for exploiting power imbalances against the vulnerable Princess Diana. She lacked experience navigating royal dissolutions. King Charles seemingly prioritized minimizing fallout over Princess Diana's welfare. King Charles came across as wielding the system against Princess Diana while feigning neutrality. His demands fueled resentment over the mistreatment of the popular Princess Diana amid the breakdown of their marriage. Number 11. Lack of Emotional Support for Their Children Both Princess Diana and King Charles faced criticism over how their turbulent marriage troubles and divorce affected their two young sons, Prince William and Prince Harry. However, King Charles specifically drew condemnation for often appearing emotionally distant when his sons needed paternal support. As William and Harry struggled with the trauma of their parents' bitter split at a formative time in their lives, King Charles was portrayed as aloof and disconnected. He did not provide the nurturing environment the distressed young princes required, lacking in warmth. When William and Harry most needed the anchor of their father's unconditional love and attention, King Charles failed to be present emotionally. This apparent indifference to prioritizing their well-being during the divorce fueled perceptions of him as an uncaring parent. King Charles' perceived emotional abandonment of William and Harry as familial life collapse solidified impressions of him as cold-hearted. His son's evident pain seemed not to register profoundly with him enough to shift his behavior. Number 12. Publicizing Private Matters In multiple authorized biographies and interviews around the time of the divorce announcement, King Charles, then Prince Charles, was seen to overshare private information. King Charles publicly discussed intimate details about his failed marriage to Princess Diana and private grievances against her. Sharing confidential marital difficulties, infidelities, and Princess Diana's mental health with biographers broke taboos around royal privacy. King Charles appeared to disregard how public airing of grievances impacted Princess Diana and their children. Critics contended such candid disclosures to shape public narratives were unbecoming of a future British sovereign. It risked cheapening the crown's dignity to settle personal scores through the media. King Charles' readiness to weaponize private affairs for PR purposes during a traumatic public divorce conflicted with monarchial discretion. It signaled questionable judgment regarding appropriate boundaries as an heir. Number 13. Insensitivity to Diana's Mental Health Princess Diana had well-publicized struggles with bulimia, depression, self-harm, and anxiety during her marriage and the divorce process. However, King Charles was seen to act with indifference and a lack of empathy regarding her mental health battles. When Princess Diana was visibly emotionally fragile from media harassment and isolation, King Charles provided little support. He disregarded how his actions, like participating in public tell-alls, affected her. King Charles also showed no initiative to shield Princess Diana from situations exacerbating her illness. Critics characterized King Charles' treatment of Princess Diana's mental health issues as neglectful and personally damaging. His priority appeared to be diverting public blame over comforting her. King Charles seemingly failed to comprehend Princess Diana's perspective as she emotionally deteriorated. Number 14. Questionable Timing of Public Appearances with Camilla After the formal separation in 1992, 
King Charles increasingly appeared in public with Camilla Parker Bowles, including shortly before and after announcing the divorce. The timing of flaunting this relationship was seen as highly insensitive. King Charles showing off romantic outings with his longtime mistress, just as his marriage to Diana crumbled, played poorly. Critics saw it as needlessly cruel towards Princess Diana and callous towards his young children's feelings. The perception that King Charles brazenly paraded Camilla to humiliate Princess Diana provoked public disgust over his spitefulness. It signaled he prioritized his gratification over compassion for his heartbroken wife and family. In combination with other actions, the conspicuous timing of King Charles underscoring his relationship with Camilla cemented his reputation as an uncaring husband fixated on his desires. Number 15. Failure to Reconcile Public and Private Personas The messy public unraveling of King Charles and Princess Diana's marriage highlighted a stark contrast between King Charles' public position as heir and his flawed private conduct. His self-serving actions during the divorce came across as unworthy of a future sovereign. King Charles failed to reconcile his private missteps and ethical lapses with his obligations to exemplify British values. His willingness to wound Princess Diana through media manipulation and emotional neglect contradicted expected leadership qualities. Critics contended the divorce proved King Charles unfit to inherit his mother, late Queen Elizabeth's dutiful example, as he showed less interest in serving the country than settling personal scores. By allowing his marriage's dysfunction to become a distracting constitutional liability, King Charles demonstrated questionable wisdom. His poise under public pressure seemed doubtful. In conclusion, the glaring disconnect between King Charles' private behavior during his divorce and Princess Diana's public expectations for the next monarch raised serious doubts about his suitability to rule. And there you have it, 15 times King Charles went too far during his divorce from Princess Diana. Their dramatic split exposed some of the British royal family's dirty laundry to an unprecedented degree. Even 25 years later, perceptions linger that King Charles and his associates showed little concern for Princess Diana's welfare as they sought to manipulate the situation. What do you think about King Charles' actions during this tumultuous chapter for the monarchy? Was he unfairly criticized? Or do you agree that he behaved poorly towards Princess Diana and his children? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more royal family videos. Who do you feel sympathy for the most? Charles, Princess Diana, or their young children caught in the crossfire? Let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching.